My name is Miriam Kelly, I'm an Assistant Curator of Australian Paintings and Sculpture and I'm going to be talking to you about Rosalie Gascoigne's assemblage, Suddenly the Lake. This work is a poetic distillation of landscape. It's air, it's earth, it's sky and water. The title, Suddenly the Lake, comes from the experience Rosalie Gascoigne had in the landscape. Travelling from Canberra uh, to Sydney, there's a space where you come through the scrubby bushland, uh, through mountainous ranges, down into the expanse of Lake George. Lake George is a, a very mysterious body of water. It's what they call a, a closed drainage basin. There's no sea, there's no river feeding into it. So the water comes and goes. In the 90s, when uh, Rosalie Gascoigne was responding to this uh, space, so this is a 1995 uh, work, uh, it was filled with water, so there was water lapping up onto the edges of the highway at times. What's fabulous about this work is that it is all found materials. Rosalie Gascoigne has become known um, in Australian art for her extraordinary transformation of discarded objects. She had an incredible potential to see beauty in found materials. She had an incredible ability to collect enormous amounts of materials. There are beautiful photos of her studio piled high with form boards and wooden drink crates and cupie dolls and all sorts of materials that she found in rubbish tips and building sites. The uh, form boards that are in this work uh, were found on a building site just near the National Library of Australia, quite close to where we are at the National Gallery. I think the beauty about the form boards is the way she engages with all the happenstance, the serendipity of the markings, markings from where either cement was removed or, or they've been battered in the process of being built or deconstructed. She also works exquisitely with the existing shapes of those form boards. One of the wonderful uh, things about this work for me is that it's in four panels, four separate panels that make the one work. They speak of the idea of uh, remembering a, a landscape in different ways, the different stages of travelling through the bush in the car, coming to the, the crest of the hill and then that wonderful expanse of water. She spoke about that experience with the horizon line just appearing so suddenly over the, over the hills. They're in a way, they're like storyboards that of those moments in the journey and yet they come at different times, like memory comes at different times for different people. It's not linear in its narrative but, but really evocative of the, um, the drama and the experience of, of wit uh, seeing that, that wonderful lake. Rosalie Gascoigne was born in New Zealand in 1917 and she uh, arrived in Australia in 1947 with her husband Ben Gascoigne who is an astronomer. So they settled on a, a very small community on Mount Stromlo which is just outside of Canberra. Canberra itself was a very small community at that time and they didn't have a car to start with so Rosalie Gascoigne uh, entertained herself uh, by walking a lot on Mount Stromlo. She collected a lot of materials, put them together in ikebana arrangements, Japanese floral ar arrangements which she had been uh, trained in. And that's really when she started her interest in assemblage and found materials. So I think it was in the 1950s that they, they first got a car and that experience of travelling through the landscape, of, of glimpsing the, the blur of colour of objects, really stayed with Rosalie Gascoigne and was something that uh, is echoed in her work throughout her career. In Suddenly the Lake, I, I think you get that glimpse with the, the way that she's made the markings in the sky and that movement of, of colour and, and, uh, and white and space and airiness that you, you get as it, with speed through the landscape. Like many works in the gallery's collection, Suddenly the Lake uh, really comes to life with, with time, with time spent looking at the, the marks, the textures, appreciating the simplicity and yet um, the strength with which she communicates that experience of, of travelling through the landscape. Although Gascoigne came to art uh, quite late in her life, she's provided Australians with an incredible uh, poetic distilled vision of the landscape that was really unique at its, in its time. They're bold, brave statements that are incredibly simplified. Gascoigne changed the way people see the landscape. For many Canberrans now, myself included, as you're travelling along the Federal Highway, coming through that scrubby bushland, and that vista over uh, into the area where Lake George is, it really is now Rosalie Gascoigne's Suddenly the Lake. 